I am sorry. <clears throat> I am sorry for for the crime that I have committed on this video to be seen. But I forgot to do my voguing. We. I forgot for us to do our voguing. You know what? We can do it now. Don't take me to jail. Natural skin at all? Yes, natural. Natural skin. Natural skin. Natural skin. <laughs> Enjoy the video. In her paradise. Hey, my peoples. So, today, I asked my friends on Snapchat, what should I do? A mermaid look or an army look? So, I guess the army look would be in the future. And so, I did this coral lip, this beautiful crease, bright in the corner, dramatic lashes. So, this is more like, you know that, like Ursula, but like her pretty sister. Like, this is like the mermaid that belongs on top, but she was trapped by Ursula. She belongs on top. But, I did that look today, like a nice little mermaid look. Very bright cut crease, kind of. And a very bright in the corner, bright touch of a lip. And, very glowy skin. I even highlight my shoulder just a little bit, you see? The collarbone, too. <laughs> but, if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, please stay tuned. And, let's get into the video. Hey my peoples, so, here I am, about to start this mermaid makeup tutorial. So, I just got good news, and it's that Cheryl, they're putting up the pool, I'm so happy, and I'm sorry if you hear a bunch of noise, because over there, they're doing some type of construction in their backyard, Cheryl's building the pool, there's birds, there's cars, but it's nice outside. <laughs> I'm sorry if it's a little dark, I can fix that later, but, um, so, the first color I'm going in is with a color that I've been mixing a lot that I've been loving and that's Whimsy from the Tarte palette. I've been mixing it with the one right next to it which is Insolent or either the one down here that's like a taupey brown, a light brown which is bold. But this has been like a main color for my crease a lot. But lately I've also been putting like my um, outer corner and lower crease color and then taking that and blending it out with a fluffier brush. And I've just been loving that look lately which is what I've been doing. But, let's start the tutorial, and let's get into it. We're just going to keep this lower in the crease, and slowly just blend it upwards. So I'm kind of doing this look as I go, but to add on to the mermaid look, I'm going into the shade Mod, which is this reddish color, and I'm going to take that on this, I don't know what this, this, this brush, I just got a new brush set I got from eBay, these brushes don't have names, but I'm going to take, ooh, that's a lot, so I'm going to take a little bit of that, and I'm kind of going to put it right where I put the last colors, and slowly blend up, but not as far up. Okay, so I love this big brush. It's like really, it's a blending brush, but it's like really huge. Like it takes up like most of my eye, half my eye. And my colors usually, since I don't tap off accent, excess product, it gets really pigmented in my crease and my upper crease. And I just like to take this brush and I like to blend it out when it gets a little bit too pigmented. And so what inspired this look are two colors I just got from Alta. They're in their single shadows, and the first one is this purple one. Let me see what the name is. This purple one, and the name is Plum Pop, and this blue, this metallic blue is called After Hours. So this one's matte, and this one's like a shimmery color kind of, and these two colors together I saw in the store, I was like, I can do somewhat of a mermaid look with that. So on the same brush I just applied the red, I'm going to take the purple, 
Oh, I love dipping into a new shadow. I'm gonna take this purple and I'm gonna put that in the outer crease and a little bit on the oh, sorry, outer edge of my eye and just slowly build that up. Now I'm gonna put a lot of this too because the red took a lot of the fire up in the crease but this I want this to come through for sure so I'm gonna build this up a lot on that other crease and um, other lid see here I went went crazy just a little bit so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this big dumb brush and I'm gonna just blend out where I see this harsh line and also just it's just gonna help lighten up and blend the colors together a little bit more this I'm gonna clean up when I do my concealer and everything so I'm not really worried about that I'm more worried about um, Making sure this purple comes through with the red and the orange being up there. Now for the lid shape for the blue. So it does look kind of raccoon and crazy, but we're gonna fix it, trust me, especially when I put on lashes. It's gonna, am I gonna wear lashes? When I put on lashes, it's gonna look real nice. So I'm gonna wet this flat brush that also came with my new brush set. And so now I'm gonna dip into the blue shade right there. And it's very, very bright. But, um, so I'm gonna put this on the Leah, just slowly build it up, as you can see. It's a lot more pigmented in person. It's coming off really pigmented in person compared to my camera. So now you see I have the blue on my eyes. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that purple. I'm gonna blend out this little part right here, kind of fuse the colors together, and a little bit up into the crease. And I also kind of made a cut crease because I'll be putting a liner over it, trying to trace it out. Now with this silver glitter liner from from Ulta, <laughs> I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna outline the blue lightly, starting from the inner corner, and just slow stroke so you don't mess up. Also, because I want this really to frame the blue, I'm gonna put two coats of it. And at the end, kind of just brush it out, not not brush it out, but like sharpen the line. I want it to end right there but I don't want to seem like a blunt line of glitter so just slowly just take the end and just wing it out like you would do a regular wing so I'm keeping it like that and I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna put another coat and I'm gonna do the other eye off camera so I finished the crease with the silver glitter also added my elf black wing liner and then I also applied my um my false lashes this is Iris Beauty in the style Empress, yeah, in the style Empress. I truly, I feel like I need to trim them again and wash them because I put a lot of mascara on them because they're really pretty, but they have like so many different length hairs, like the ones you see more defined with mascara right now. They're really not that visible on your eye unless you put mascara on them, and it's time to wash them. I put about four coats of mascara on them since I got them. And they're they're just so beautiful. Like look at them. But I think I need to trim them again. They're a little bit too long for my eye. But to prime my face, I use the one heck of a blot because, as you can possibly see, I've been breaking out for the past week. And also, um, silicone primers aren't the best for people who have like oily or porous skin. But porous, yeah, because it fills in the pores pretty okay. 
but it's not the best for people who have um, oily skin. So I chose to go with my one heck of a blow also because I haven't used it for a while. And I know I told y'all I hate it, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. But I love it. And for mascara, I use the, the Monsieur Big Big. No, Monsieur Big. Anyway, it's the last um, mascara sample I got from Ulta since it was my birthday. And it's from Lancome. It hasn't even left Paris yet. It was like a little sample. It's 24 hour waterproof. I love it so far. It kind of separates my lashes. But this is the top of the eyes. We're going to head on to the bottom as soon as the face is done. So, for the face, I'm going in with my two concealers. Um, Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Deep and the Better Skin um, in the shade Medium Deep because I went one shade darker. So, you already know how I do this if you've been here long enough. One guy here. You know, sides of the eyebrows. Whose phone is freaking? Up the nose. I should not hear your phone. Um, on the chin, and a little bit here, since my facial hair is just about gone. Uh, also, just here. And then the rest, you know, I feel in, I take my better skin, I go just below the lip a little bit, up the middle of the nose, and under the eye. So, I'm taking this brush. I got my boxy charm. I love it to death. And I'm gonna um, start blending this stuff out. So I finished blue on my under eyes and I wet my pure sponge. Don't go on me for my dirty brushes and sponges because I'm almost the, the week. It's almost the week that I clean them. I clean my brushes every two or three weeks because I don't wear makeup a ton. But every two or three weeks is good for me. So I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to tap over everything that I blended out with the brush. And you can see just how fast that brush blends out. Hot up and I love it. Oh, I should probably stop talking to do with this. <laughs> And just right under the eye before I set it. So I'm taking my Laura Mercier. I'm going to just dip the sponge in there. And I'm going to set from the outside in. And I'm going to make sure to get all the creases. And I'm going to just press the powder in. Oh, that's a lot. And I'm also going to cover all the spots that I like the not contour if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going with my bronzer, which I'm using a matte NYX bronzer in the darker shade. Well, the darkest that they have at Ulta, at least. And boy, I got a new one. So your boy got a new one. So I'm gonna take this fan brush by Crown Brushes. I'm gonna start on my forehead, and sometimes I go a little bit heavier in this section because it's hard for me to see until I get like taking selfies and stuff. It's hard for me to see how much I put because truly it kind of looks the same on my forehead. But now on with the cheeks, I'm gonna tap that off because I do go kind of crazy with this product. Now, I kind of want to keep it focused where I want the product because I don't really bake this part anymore. I kind of just keep it as is. Okay. As you can see, that cheek was a bronzed. It had a little bit more structure to it compared to this one that's just like a blob. And this one never wants to blend for me anyway. 
I try to make it work though. Because this sheet does not like to blend product, especially in this section. It does not like to blend. It does it barely likes to pick up anything. It's just a struggle. It doesn't look as pretty as this. It's just. Ugh. Okay, I feel like that might be enough. So I'm going to take this big fluffy powder brush and I'm going to blend everything together. And make sure to get that under eye so it won't be looking creasy. And get as much product from under there as possible. With to make sure it's set in place, I try to press my powder in under the eye instead of just leave it there. I give, um, for me it gives a, um, a nicer look and less dry and less white because I am, I am brown. I am a brown person. So, to finish the face, um, I'm taking this blush by Alta. It's my favorite blush. I just like my go-to blush. It has some shine in it and it's called Pink Out. Just my favorite blush. It's so pigmented and we can put a lot of this since we, we are mermaid today. This is my interpretation of a mermaid. It kind of matches my shirt too, this look. We're going to do it like we on stage. That's how much blush we're going to put. See, there's a little slight shine to it. But in person, it picks up a lot. Like the shine, you can definitely see it. We're going to put some up here too, because... Sometimes I like to blush my forehead, like even though it doesn't show a lot, it's like a small, like the smallest hint that you see it. And since you don't want a pink forehead, just brush that out a little bit. So, for, I'm sorry, I keep looking up here, all my products are sitting right here. For highlighter, I'm extra, so I'm using two. So, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Crown of My Canopy. If you can find it anywhere, get it. I barely ever see it at the drugstore, and I didn't find it on their website when I went to go link it a while ago. I only saw their new highlighters, but it's so hard to find. I found their other one of this that's too light for my skin tone, but this uh, select one, impossible to find. There's, they never have it. It's always sold. So, you know, we go, since we are mermaids, mermaids have wet skin. We just go powder. I'm going to have to take this off before I go to work, because it's a little, it's, it's, it's a lot of, a lot of, lot of color, a lot, lot of lash, a lot of dramatic. So now I'm going to take um, Rodale Drive by Ofra and we're going to highlight on top with this because I want a golden tint to this, but I also want very pink too. We're going to do a little bit above the eyebrow, barely on the nose, and the keep as well. You know what? Just cause like, come on, I'm feeling special. Oops. Okay, <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm back to finish the eyes. I'm gonna take Rodeo Drive one more time with this this brush. Oh, this this small fluffy. I'm gonna take Rodeo Drive on that. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone. Because we want all the light in the world to catch us. All the gold tones, all the red tones, even the blue. Get the blue of the water. Just highlight the brow bone. I'm blending it slightly. Blending it right here where the red and the, the gold, not the silver. The gold meet. And that's going to give it more of a diffused look instead of like a stark color in person. Yeah, we highlight that with Pebble Brown Bone. And now I'm going to highlight the other one. to uh, this purplish color with this rolling lane nickel brush and I'm gonna put 
this is not the mirror. Oh my god. So I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna bring it out underneath the wing. And I'm not being afraid to take this too low because since this is such a dramatic eye look, it kind of needs it. Usually I don't like to bring colors too low on my lash line, like barely even on my lash line because it makes, makes me look weird. But since these lashes are so big, it kind of needs it to be low to balance out the look. Trace the wing with it. Take this other brush and I'm gonna take the red mod that we put up into the crease after the orange shade that we have put. Just a little bit of that. And I'm gonna put that closest underneath the lash line. This brush is rough. So now it kind of have to the look as the upper side. But we ain't done. So next, I'm gonna take this blue liner from Alta. These last so long in my waterline, and I have really watery eyes. And so I'm gonna put this in my waterline. And this is also why I use to do my brows sometimes when I do my blue eyebrows. Oh god. You can't really see it on camera, but in person, it definitely comes through and it matches the um the lid shade. This is a new mascara that I've been trying from number seven. Number seven. And it's called the Stay Perfect Long Lasting Volume. It is a tubing mascara. And so this is the brush. Yeah, you see like barely any product on there. It is kind of a wet formula. But it works perfect for my lashes, top and bottom really. But for the bottom, I can scrape my lash line to get my lashes. And it does not get on my face. For, from how the brush is made, it's really bizarre. And I like never do bottom mascara ever, but this is like getting me to do it. Okay, and don't think I forgot about the inner corner. Where is it at? Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna take this white liner from NYX. And that's the liquid liner. And I did this at school one day. My inner corner was popping. This is the way that your inner corner will possibly never fade. Because after a while, I say this will crack off. But it lasted a really long time. So what I did was, I took the little tip. Be real careful, it's slow, so I'm not going to talk. And I'm going to draw a triangle. Careful not to get it on your lashes, as you see, I did. That one came out kind of thick, but look at that inner corner. Your inner corner will never die. It will never die. It's gonna always be there, and it kind of just goes with the silver glitter. And I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, for lips, I don't know if I like it, but I'll take a chance. It's more like a coral color. It's like this pinky peach color that I got in my, this palette they gave me for my birthday from Alta. And the name is Proper. Proper. I don't like it too much because it was really streaky trying to put it on. It's supposed to dry matte. It, was, it didn't dry. It was still too much work. But I put this gloss by Juice Beauty on it. 
I don't know the name of it, but it came from my box of charm. And I put that on top of it. I kind of like it with the eyes, but I kind of don't. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. But what we did miss, where it go? I lost it again. Oh my god. Oh, it's on my lap. Okay. <laughs> what we did miss was setting spray, and here is the Urban Decay D Slick. And. Take anything you got and just spam it. Spam it to death. This made my stuff last all during prom. And that's the tutorial on this mermaid look. It's more like a dark mermaid, like came out of the, like the deep part of the ocean, like Ursula, like Ursula. But her makeup's still on fleek. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Please subscribe. Give me a like, which is down there. And share this with your people. Follow my social media. Stay tuned for the next video coming next Saturday. Bye.